Um, so it's Thursday, um, kind of a weird day, but I'm just looking at, I'm th I just thought, like, think to myself, you try to avoid WWE, and I try to avoid it, but you only think about it really on Mondays, Tuesdays because of SmackDown, Fridays because of SmackDown, Tuesdays because they record it so you look at it, and then that occasional pay-per-view Sunday. But Thursday tonight, we got NXT Arrival, which I'll be watching. I will give my review on the show whenever I do watch it. If I watch it, if I do, if I go out tonight, I'll watch it like, when I get home tonight or tomorrow morning, or I'll watch it tonight live. I don't know yet, but um, yeah, I'll give a review for that. So look forward to that. And um, I'm here to talk about Monday Night Raw. Apart from being Monday Night Raw, bitch, with uh, Mr. Jesse Pinkman. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about is the what if. What if you hear the do 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 What if that happens? There's three things I know that will happen. I do not think that Punk's coming back. I'd love to see him come back. It's Chicago. It's like if Edge did the same thing and then the money I raw was in Toronto. We'd all be expecting here, you think you know me, because trust me, we would go fucking ape shit if Edge left the company and came back at a raw in the Air Canada Center. Trust me. But Chicago and Punk, like, there's something about Chicago. I always used to say to myself, why do they always go there? Like, why? But then you realize it, how good the crowds are. I went on Ticketmaster Day. I'm not going to Chicago or flying to Chicago. I went on just to see what was available, what was left. Nothing. I typed in four tickets. I typed in two tickets. I typed in a single ticket. Sorry, your search match does not result. Best available, too. I didn't, like, say a certain section or anything. So that means that you're going to have 14,000 rowdy fans, 13, 14, 15, however many places y'all say arena holds. You're going to have ravenous fans waiting for that. You're going to disappoint them. That's why they're bringing in Hulk Hogan. That's why they're bringing Brock. Brock was always supposed to be on the show. That's why Punk Taker is going to be in there now. That's why I got Aaron Paul. Like, last time Raw was in Chicago, it was a bad show. You you can go back. You'll see my review. I started it off as saying, what a lovely show from Chicago. Say, as if that would be one of the worst Chicago shows I had ever seen. Because that was one of the worst Chicago shows I had ever seen. Usually they go to Chicago, the crowd's great, the show's great, everything's great about it. This time, no. Like, have a memorable Raw in Chicago where it's like, the price is raw. Remember that? That's probably one of my favorite episodes of all time on TV. Sure, I went to a Monday Night Raw the week later, the night after Breaking Point. But it was just so perfect. Like, you pulled out all the stops. The go-home show for Mania 27. Mo Who can forget Money in the Bank 2011. Um, oh, God, there had to be a Raw there last year sometime. I'm just trying to think of when. I, last time I think a SmackDown was there was 2010. But that's all i got to say is if... If that doesn't happen, I just hope that Monday Night in Chicago, you have a good show. But then again, just think this to yourself, everyone out there who's watching this video. The what if. The what if Punk's music hits. The what if the crowd loses it. The crowd's going to be so fired up Monday, I personally cannot wait to watch it. And also, just before I go, another quick reminder, be watching Thursday of next week.